Well, Governor Larry Hogan will be in Baltimore today laying out initiatives to help reduce violent crime. This comes after a brutal killing in one of our city's most popular neighborhoods. Police say a 60 year old man has died after he was robbed and assaulted over the weekend. This morning, that suspect is still on the run. WJZS Live this morning, Amy Kawada joins us now with an exclusive in this investigation as neighbors and close friends are reacting to this devastating news. Amy, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, definitely devastating loss to the community. Six-year-old Victor Malabayabas was a beloved man here in this community. And this morning, police exclusively confirmed to WJZ the image of a car linked to the suspect involved in his killing. Take a good look at your screen here. Neighbors say the suspect jumped into this car with a broken front headlight after assaulting Malabayabas Saturday night and took off. Police say the longtime Canton resident was attacked outside his home off South Kenwood Avenue after a stranger approached him asking for a tissue. As Malabayabas gave him one, the suspect grabbed him by the shirt, pushed him against a car, then to the ground, stealing his wallet before running off. Malabayabas died at the hospital Monday from his injuries. As loved ones and neighbors are grieving the loss of a special soul, they say they're remaining on high alert. Some even tell us they've seen the suspect again since the attack. Of course, as always, anyone with information is urged to contact homicide detectives in this case. And as we know, the explosion of violence here in the city has been a big concern. Again, Governor Hogan today will be joined by the attorney with for a U.S. Attorney for Maryland to highlight the resources and initiatives to keep our communities safer. And also coming up in the next half hour, we're hearing from community members and neighbors who are heartbroken from this devastating loss. For now, reporting live, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.